Hello, Maurice. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Maurice? I'm fine. You are fine? You? I'm okay. What about your day? How was it? Good, so so. Uh, so so. So so. Why so so, Maurice? Yeah. Uh, so so because I. Uh, I. I talk with. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Korean team. With your team? team? Oh, with the Korean team. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And do you talk a lot? Mm -hmm. Yes. Not much. Not much. Not okay. Much. Not much. Okay, but it was really like um, I mean, was it stressful? Uh, more a less. little bit. Yes, yeah. I imagine, Maris. I imagine. And you, Carlos Vladimir, how was your day? My day was interesting. Interesting. Because okay. uh, the hotel changed the Frankish. French, how do you say Frankish? The chain. Mm, chain, no, uh, Frankish. French, French, no, I don't remember how do you say Frankish. Mm -hmm. And the I have to many many train trains to the other the other, staff. The, the, the other the other brand of the mm -hmm. hotel mm -hmm. because in this moment uh, are Crown Plaza uh, in next October uh, will be going going to uh, Hilton. Oh really? Yes. Oh my God. So yes. Okay. Um, you can say franchise. Uh, yes, franchise. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. franchise. Okay. That is interesting because you're going to have a lot of things to, to probably cover, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Very good. And you, Pablo, do you feel better today? I feel better. You feel better? Okay, and your day? Yes. Good? So, so? Uh, my day was very busy. Very busy. Okay. Right. Yes, guys, I imagine. Okay. Well, we are going to start with today's class. And for today's class, we are going to start with the warm up. We also have grammar. And today we are going to cover um, different information, guys, because we are going to talk about uh, phobias, all right? And we are going to also learn new vocabulary about business etiquette, yeah? Um, we also have the speaking time and we have listening quiz and a grammar quiz, okay? So we are going to start and let me ask you, okay? Um, guys, what is your favorite holiday? What do you really like? Which is your favorite holiday? Is it Christmas? Is it uh, Easter? Is it uh, just summer? What is your favorite holiday? Mm -hmm. In my case, is my favorite holiday uh, are family birthday. Oh, really? Okay, you celebrate all of the birthdays? Yeah, of course. Yes, okay, awesome. That is nice, Maurice. Um, okay, perfect. And in your case, Carlos, what is your favorite holiday? Mm -hmm. My favorite holiday yes. is in August. August. All right. Yes. Why? Why because, do you like it? <laughs> because in August I to is my anniversary, Mer Merrill anniversary. Oh really? Yes. Awesome. And what do you eat and drink on this day? How do you celebrate it? 
Uh, for example, the last the last time last year at uh, the last year I we we were to dinner in the hotel Camino Real. Okay. Continental. Yes. Okay. Perfect. All right. That is awesome. Yes. Okay. So, and in your case, Pablo, which is your favorite holiday? Uh, my favorite holiday is uh, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. How do you celebrate it? Um, and my daughter's birthday is on the day. Really? Yes. Oh my God. Okay. That is cool. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. yes. That is so good. Okay. Very good, guys. All right. So now let me ask you, Maurice, did you send any emails one hour ago? Uh, uh, I sent, I did send email. Yeah, yeah I did you... send email. Okay, email. Uh, my email, email, email. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my jefe, jefe. To my boss. Uh, my boss. To my yeah. boss. Okay. All right. And did you chat online yesterday? Did you chat online yesterday on WhatsApp? Yes. I did. You did. With my wife. Okay. Perfect. Carlos Vladimir, what did you do yesterday after the English class? After the English class, I watch a movie. Really? You didn't <laughs> go to sleep? Yes, no, I watch a movie because I watch a Mario Bros. movie. Ah, is it good? Sí, yes, I like yes, it. Yes, it is. Okay, yeah, I think that I would I would like to see it. I because haven't someone seen. someone uh, la subió via Facebook. Oh, they uploaded on Facebook. Okay, uploaded on Facebook, yes. Uploaded on Facebook, okay, all right. So mm, from one to 10, which is your score for the movie? 11. <laughs> okay, Carlos, so yes, you, you do recommend it. Okay, so I will watch it, okay? Thank you, Carlos. It's very funny. It's very funny? Well, yes, because I like a video game of Mario Bros. Um, okay, so that's why you really enjoy it. Yes. Perfect. Okay, that is so cool. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, so let's see. Um, well, guys, let's continue. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so now let me see. We also have Tatiana. We have Emerson. Let me see who else. We have Kenya. Okay, so Kenya, what do you think of tattoos? What do you think about that? Um, I like the tattoos, but I don't have. Mm -hmm. But I like the um, uh, artistic of tattoo. Okay. And only that. Okay, so do you think that tattoos are um, something bad or something good, or it depends? Depends. Um, sometimes um, depends the design. It could be bad mm -hmm. and bad presentation for someone. But if you have um, one uh, different or uh, no, no se luce mucho. Este could be good. Okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. Maris, what about you? What do you think about tattoos? Um, you are on mute, Maris. Creo que está con mute. 
No le escuchamos. For yes. me, teacher, uh, are pretty. But depend, depend on the tattoo. Okay. If the is they are offensive. Mm -hmm. Oh no, very good. All right. It depends. I don't have I don't have tattoo. Okay. All right. So what do you think about tattoos, Carlos? Uh, in my case, I I like the tattoos, but I I I don't have them mm -hmm. because for my work is not allowed. Uh -huh, yes, but I talking with my son when him sea mayor de edad make a. a a dragon in the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Um, well, Carlos, it's okay, all right? Perfect. Pablo, what about you? Uh, I don't like tattoos. I will never get one. Okay. You don't like tattoos, okay. I don't like. Okay, all right. Let me see. Um, well, in this case, Carlos Vladimir, whenever you want to say mayor de edad, usted puede decirlo adult, okay? Adult. Okay, thank you, adult. Right. Adult, all right. Yes, uh, Juan Jose, what do you think about tattoos? Uh, I think in some cases dangerous. Uh, put that chemicals mm -hmm. in our body okay. when the time when when spend the time a lot of time uh, they come some I don't know how to say enfermedades sickness uh, yeah illnesses mm -hmm. illnesses mm -hmm. and some consequence uh, look nice and some look nice but uh, with the, spend the time mm -hmm. we can have consequences consequences okay yes and that is correct i i agree i agree on that uh -huh. all right perfect okay guys so now uh let's see all right what we're going to do is the following okay so we're going to interview our classmate yeah, and this is for us to practice the simple past, the simple past, okay? What you are going to do is the following. When was the last time you, reminder, verbs should go in simple past. When was the last time you bought an ice cream? When was the last time you did housework? When was the last time you ate fast food when was the last time you went swimming when was the last time you visited museum when was the last time you spoke english okay you should ask those questions in simple past to your partner yes and then we are going to move to this activity. But first, you need to practice simple past. Okay, simple past. And then we are going to move to this activity. Imagine you are going to have a vacation and you are planning a trip, okay? These are the arrangements for a trip to the city of New York that you and your friend George are taking next week. Yeah, so you should use present progressive, the one that we covered yesterday to talk about future plans. Yeah, so the same thing, you are going to create one sentence per day. What are you doing on day one? What are you doing on day two? What are you doing on day three? What are you doing on day four? And what are you doing on day number five? Yes. 
So you are going to create one sentence per day using the present continuous for future plans. Yeah, but first we are going to start with this and then with this, okay? Um, so open the class, please. Okay, open the class. And I will assign you with a partner, okay? It is going to be in pairs. So guys, if you cannot participate on the activity, please stay in the main room, okay? Okay, guys, do you have any question about the activity? No. Okay. No, the moment. Okay. Good evening, Carlos. Good evening. The first question, when was the last time you bought an ice cream? I was buying ice cream the last week. Okay. When was the last time you when swim she two weeks ago during the vacations okay two question only another You move the next. Yes. Okay. Hello, Kenya. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Thank you. And you? I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I think that, um, you know, I'm relaxing. I'm good. Um, okay, Kenya, when was the last time you bought an ice cream? The last time I bought an ice cream was yesterday with my partner. Really? Yes. And which In was the, the flavor? Uh, I love the strawberry. The strawberry, okay. All right. And do you buy it uh, in La Neveria or where? No, um, Boston. 
Boston. Okay. Yes, I don't like Nevería. You don't? <laughs> Why? I don't know. Y se derrite rápido. I don't like. It melts really fast. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. Could be right. I haven't thought about that, but okay, could be. When was the last time you did housework? Uh, the last time I did housework was yesterday at night. Okay. And how many time? Uh, Thirty minutes. I I don't make clothes. Okay. All right. And at what time? Uh, at 11 at night. Oh my God, so late. Yes, after the class, uh, I ate my my dinner and then I ironed my clothes. Oh, and then you did exercise. I oh, know you did housework. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, and when was the, la the last time you ate fast food? Um, the last time I ate fast food was on Tuesday in this week. Mm -hmm. We went with my co-workers to Burger King okay. for, for the lunch. Okay, all right. And when was the last time you went swimming? Mm, I'm not sure, but I, I went swimming about three years ago because I was in classes, but I don't like because I drink the water of the swimming pool. <laughs> and really, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, all right. Yes, because it is dirty, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when was the last time you visited a museum? Um, I love to go to the museum. The last time that I visited, was in, in November because I went to Mexico and I went with my brother. Okay, and how was that experience? Was it good, so-so? I love them, I love them. We went to a museum in Chapultepec, mm -hmm. in the castle Chapultepec, and it was really wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. And when was the last time you spoke English? Uh, the last time I spoke English was yesterday in the class. Okay. All right. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Okay. So now, Kenya, imagine you are going to have a vacation. Yes. And we are planning a trip. Yes. So you are visiting the New York City. I want you to think what are your plans, um, the plans that you are going to do on this city and on each day, day one, day two, day three, four, day five, yes? So what do you think are you going to do on day one? Um, the first day I went to visit the um, Le Statua, Liberty of Star Wars. I don't Ashton? remember. That. Yes. Okay. And the second day, I would like to to buy something of the country. I love the um, magnetic, los magnéticos que se pegan en la refri, eh, oh, the yes. souvenirs. Souvenir. I love them. Yes, I I have to buy uh, the um, this the third day maybe I going to go um any park. Okay. And the um, day four I would like to go um a good restaurant, but we, uh, this restaurant has to have a view. A beautiful view a beautiful. for the series. Yes, for my pictures. Yes. And, and the last day, um, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Maybe shopping clothes. Okay. Or something. Uh, because um, 
in the USA are places with clothes more cheaper than other places. Mm -hmm. And for this reason, I would like to choose for someone. Okay, all right, perfect. That is good, that is good. Okay, so I'm going to move you to another room and I'm going to bring somebody else, okay? Okay. Thank you. Hello, Maris. Hello, hello. Okay, Maris, I would like to practice with you, okay? So I'm going to practice okay. speaking, okay? So, okay. Maris, when was the last time you bought an ice cream? Uh, yesterday. Okay. I bought an ice cream. You bought an ice cream yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Which was the flavor? It uh, the flavor is mango. Oh, was, was mango. Because I like mango. Okay. And when was the last time you did housework? Uh, housework, uh, I washes the dishes on the Monday. On Monday? Yeah. Okay. That is good. And when was the last time you ate fast food? Yeah, I ate pizza on Sunday. On Sunday, delicious, right? And Maris, when was the last time you went swimming? I go swimming. I went? I went swimming. ¿Cómo se puede decir? De este fin de semana al otro, al pasado. Um, como de, diciendo dos fines de semana pasados, anteriores. Sí. Uh, two weekends ago. Two weekends ago. Ok. I went to. to we can uh, swim two weekends ago. So. Okay, and when was the last time you visited a museum? <laughs> I don't know visit the thing. Museum. You do not visit museums? No, no. Okay, all right. And when was the last time you spoke English? Hmm. When we last time, uh -huh. yeah. and today in the morning, today I spoke English. Yeah. Okay, that is but great. With that, uh, visit Korean visit. Oh yes, that is true. Right. So well. That was really nice, I think. Okay. okay, Maris, now you are going to have a vacation, okay? And you are planning a trip. I would like to know what are you going to do each day in this city, okay? What yeah, are you uh -huh. going to do day one? On day one? Day one, I, uh, I'm planning a trip. Uh, I will visit the Visit the Statue of Liberty. Perfect. Day two. And they say I visit the National Center Park. Excellent. And on day three? I will visit that was a dream tower. And on day four? 
I will visit my family and my friend. And on the last day, day five? I will work. You will work? In the city. Okay. In the city. All right. Perfect. Okay, thank you, Maris. Okay, I'm going okay. to bring somebody else. Okay, voy a traer a okay. alguien más para practicar. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. Hello, Wendy. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very. Are you good? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Ok, eh, Wendy, estamos practicando, ok. So, estamos practicando primero, uh, primero con el pasado simple. Yo no lo entendí. Ok. Sí, vaya, estamos practicando en ese momento, ¿sí? Estamos practicando en ese momento y lo primero que estamos practicando es con el pasado simple. Entonces, eh, tenemos diferentes preguntas, ¿ok? When was the last time you bought an ice cream, Wendy? When was the last time you do housework? Oh, no, ok. Pero yo le estoy preguntando. When was the last time you bought an ice cream? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que compró an ice cream? Compré cualquier cosa. No, que compró un ice cream, un helado. Ah. Ah. Um, uh. Weekend. On the weekend? On the weekend, Saturday. On Saturday? Okay. Yes. Okay. And when was the last time you did housework? Um, when was the last time you did you did no, ¿cuándo fue la última vez que usted hizo eh, que hacer es del hogar, oficio? Ah, ¿cómo se dice? Um, eh, every day. Pero la día? Today. Uh -huh. Diga today. Yeah. Diga today. Today. Eso significa este día, today, ahora, okay. hoy. Ok, when was the last time you ate fast food? Mm. Fast food? Fast. When was the last time you ate fast food? It was last time you, it was fast food. Yes, pero ¿cuándo fue la última vez? No, no. es que no me entiendo. Ok. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez? Cuando yo le pregunto, when was the last time? Significa cuándo fue la última vez. Okay. ok. When was the last time you ate fast food? ¿Qué significa eat? Comer. ¿Y ate? Comer Game. en pasado. Ah. Mediodía. <laughs> At lunch? Lunch. From lunch to pass. Um, mediodía, teacher. In a mediodía. In the afternoon. Yeah. At uh -huh. noon. At noon. At noon. Okay. And when was the last time you went swimming? Swimming. Swimming. Yeah. 
No sé qué significa el feeling, teacher. Nadar. Um, I don't know. No. Pero, pero ¿cuándo fue la última vez que, que fue a nadar? Es que no, no sé nadar por eso. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Now, uh -huh. when was the last time that you visited a museum? When was the last time? You visited a museum. You, you visited... Um, no visit. Huh? No. And when no. was the last time you spoke English? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que usted habló inglés? When was the last time you... Es English. Eh, good night. Oh, tonight. Oh, good night. Tonight. Good night. To, tonight. 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 Ok. Thank you. Bye, Wendy. Hay que repasar los verbos. Ok, los verbos. Bye. Ok. Um, ok, let's go back. Vámonos de nuevo al salón principal, ok. <clears throat> okay. All right, guys. So let's wait for the other ones to join. Um, let me see. All right. So um, let me see who is here. Okay, Juan Jose. Okay. Yes. When was the last time you bought an ice cream? The last time that I bought a la uh, ice cream was two days ago. Which was the flavor? Um, the flavor was chocolate with pineapple mm -hmm. and banana. Okay. So, and when was the last time you did housework? The last time that I did home, homework? Housework? Housework. 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 Oh, today I did. Okay. All right. And when was the last time you ate fast food? Fast food, the last time was the weekend. Okay. I bought pizza and hamburger. Okay. And when was the last time you went swimming? The last time that I went swimming was in February. Okay, long time ago. Yeah. And when was the last time you visited a museum? Museum. Mm -hmm. Um, the last time was around two years ago, I think. A okay, long time ago as well. Yeah, long and, time. Yeah. When was the last time you spoke English? Uh, today. Today, when I was studying, I okay. spoke English. Yes. I so try spoke English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you, Juan. Okay. Um, Emerson, when was the last time you bought an ice cream? The last time I buy or bought ice cream was the last weekend. Last weekend, okay, and which was the flavor? My flavor is chocolate. Chocolate, okay. When was the last time you did housework? I don't remember that. No? All right. And when was the last time you ate fast food? Tonight. Oh, really? And what yes, did you eat? I have pizza. 
Okay, I have I, a pizza. Okay, pizza. I okay. eat pizza. Excellent. And when was the last time you went swimming? Two weeks ago. Two weeks in ago. In my vacation. On your vacation. Okay, perfect. And when was the last time you visited a museum? Three years ago. Three years yes. ago? Three okay, years long ago. time yeah. ago. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. All right. So, guys, now let's see. Nelly, are you there? Yes. Okay, Nelly, you are going on vacation and you are planning a trip. So you are going to visit New York City. I would like to know what are the things that you are going to do on day one, day two, three, four, and five. Okay, Emerson has um, lists. Oh, okay. But now, okay. can you please... Um, okay, thank you, Emerson. But Nelly, can you please create um, some ideas or some sentences for day one? Um, day one, we are uh, visiting the Times Square. Okay. Uh, day two, we are visiting um, the Brooklyn Bridge. Perfect. And we will, we are walking uh, from for Chinatown, and okay. we buy we are buying uh, souvenirs. Perfect. Day three, we are walking um, for um, close near to Empire State. Okay. Day four, we are visiting uh, Missing. Mm -hmm. And day five, we are visiting uh, to the beach with my with with family with the George family. Okay, yes. <laughs> and I okay. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Um, the only observation, Nelly, is instead of saying near to, just near. Okay. Do not add the preposition to. Okay. okay. Perfect. Very good. All right. Um, let me see. Is Carlos Vladimir there? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. So you are going on the trip. So I would like to know what are the activities that you are going to do each day? In, in what city? Oh, you are visiting in this case, let's say that you are visiting Italy and Hello. you are going to go Rome. Rome. I go. I. I am visiting the Coliseum. Perfect. I walking by Vatican. Okay. I'm walking. Uh, I want to go up uh, the Torre Pisa. Okay. Um. I am busy the Arco. I, I don't remember who this okay. All right. Uh, only that. Only that. And on the last day, are you going to buy some souvenirs? Maybe. Maybe. But okay. I don't have money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, Carlos. All right. Thank you. Okay, guys, thank you very much. So now let's move. Okay, let's move and let's talk about fears and phobias. Okay, so let me ask you, what kind of emotion is fear? Is fear um, something good or something bad? 
What do you think, guys? Is fear something good or something bad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think what it's, it's good. It's good. Yes. yes, I think that fear, guys, is good as long as you are able to control it, right? If you are able to control fear, it is good. But if it is uh, something that controls you, it's not good, right? So now, what is a phobia? What is a phobia, guys? Mm -hmm. When we have extremely fear to something, or someone ought to do something. Yes, okay, when you have extremely fear of doing something, right? Or probably facing something. Yeah, that could be a phobia. Mm -hmm. So uh, phobias, uh, most of the time are bad, right? Well, those are bad, actually, okay? Now, let me ask you one, is there something you are afraid of? I don't know. Some spire, maybe. Okay. <laughs> A <right>. big spire. <laughs> yes. Okay. I think that we all are afraid of that, right? <laughs> yes. And you, Maurice? Yes, because I'm oh. sorry. Go. They, Continue. they are so fast. <laughs> <laughs> and they jump, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. That is true. So, yeah. <laughs> No. Okay. And you, Maris, is there something you are afraid of? Yes. I'm afraid of uh, uh, snake. Serpiente. Snake? Snakes? A snake. Okay. And uh, uh, two car accidents. Car accidents. Yes. Okay. That is true. Okay, so now, guys, um, let's focus on vocabulary, okay? So we are going to learn different type of phobias, and probably you are going to realize that maybe you have some, but you haven't thought about them, right? So the first one and the most common one is the one that um, Juan mentioned, and this one is arachnophobia, yeah? So arachnophobia is actually um, the fear of spiders, Yes, arachnophobia. We also have this one, which is ophidiophobia. What is ophidiophobia? Well, ophidiophobia is fear of snakes. Yes, fear of snakes. So if you say, I don't like snakes, I'm afraid of that. Probably mm -hmm. there is a phobia, right? Which is ophidiophobia. We also have number three, which is acrophobia. What is acrophobia? Acrophobia is actually the fear of heights, right? If you say, no, teacher, I cannot go uh, on a plane because I feel afraid of heights, right? Or I cannot take the footbridge because I am afraid of heights, right? Mm -hmm. El miedo a las alturas, right? That one is really common as well. Then we also have agoraphobia. What is agoraphobia? Agoraphobia is the fear of open or public places. Believe it or not, there are many people that do, do not like to go out, right? Because they, they have this fear of open and public places. I don't know why, but people sometimes they do have this uh, phobia. And with the pandemic, that increased, right? Then we also have xenophobia. What is xenophobia? Xenophobia is the fear of dogs. Sometimes people are really afraid of dogs. Yes. And sometimes, this might happen because uh, you probably suffer something, right? When you were a kid or something happened to you with dogs, right? And you developed 
that phobia. Yeah, xenophobia, fear of dogs. Mm -hmm. So then we also have astrophobia. Astrophobia is the fear of storms. Sometimes people are really afraid of thunders, right? Yes, especially I would say kids. Yes. We also have claustrophobia. What is claustrophobia? Claustrophobia is the fear of a small spaces. Mm -hmm. For example, um, elevators, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And sometimes um, I would say um, probably a, bathroom. Yeah, yeah, bathroom or a small office or a small room, something is small, right? So claustrophobia. Then we also have neophobia, the fear of new things. And most of the time, neophobia is um, really noticeable sometimes, of course, um, on teenagers, right? Because there are new things that are evolving, right? And all of that, but also adults. When you are going to try something new, or when there is something new that you don't really seem to um, probably understand, right? You have new phobia sometimes, the fear of new things. Yeah. Then we also have this one, which is really common nowadays. Philophobia. And what is that? The fear of falling in love, right? The nowadays that is really common on teenagers, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And probably adults as well, right? Probably. We also have ergophobia. What is ergophobia? Ergophobia is uh, the fear, okay? The fear of the workplace. Believe it or no, there are many people, many people that have this phobia. And most of the time is uh, the people that do not like to go to the office, right? And they say, no, I don't want to go back to the office. They develop this type of phobia with the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So which of those do you think are the ones that you have in your personal opinion, in your personal case? From those, when it comes to probably animals, I think that the most common one is arachnophobia, right? But probably some of you may have, right, may have, um, I would say, xenophobia, right? I don't know. Mm -hmm. In my case, I have fear to of height. Really? Yes. Okay, yes, Carlos. Mm -hmm. yeah, that one is really common. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. It is common. Okay. All right. Now, from those, which ones do you have, guys? Which ones do you think are the most common ones in your life? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Astrophobia, claustrophobia, neophobia, philophobia, ergophobia. Which one? Mm -hmm. None? You don't have none? No. No? Okay, that's the attitude. Okay, that's the attitude. You're really strong, okay? So now, let's see, guys. We also have nomophobia, 
what is nomophobia, guys? Nomophobia is the fear of being out of mobile phone contact. There are people that love to go out and they are always on their phone, right? They cannot actually leave their phone at home because they feel empty, right? They feel like they don't have a part of them. Mm -hmm. Especially teenagers. They're always taking pictures. They're always on social media. They are always posting different things. And we also have Chatophobia. What is chatophobia? Chatophobia mm -hmm. is the fear of people or animals with, and listen to this one, is the fear of people or animals with an excess amount of hair. Fear. Imagine sometimes, I don't know why, but I have, I have met people like that. And that is true. Okay. They are afraid of people or animals with an excess amount of hair. I don't know why, but that happens. That is true. And well, the last one, which is panphobia. And which is panphobia is the fear of everything. If you're the type of person that says, oh, that makes me feel scared or I'm afraid of that and everything, right? You, you fear everything, you have panphobia. Mm -hmm. You do have it. Okay. Do you have nomophobia, guys, or no? No, I think that I mm -hmm. think that you do not. Yeah, I think that you do not. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let me ask you, okay, are you less afraid of things now than as a child? Yes or no? What do you think? Well, maybe teacher, because now I know how the world functions, how the world is, how reality, right? Um, mm -hmm. Are you less afraid of things now than as a child? Think about it, okay? Could be that yes, as you're getting older, right? Mm -hmm. Who is more likely to have fears? Boy or girls, men or women? Well, we all know, right? Well, I think that um, the ones that are more likely to have fears because we show that probably girls and women, right? I don't know why, but it is like that. Probably because we are really like, um, we show emotions. Right. So I think that that's why. Yeah. Girls and women are more likely to have fears. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of fears, what do you think? What kind of fears can interfere with the quality of a person's life? So remember that we have those, right? So which of those can interfere with the quality of your life? Uh -huh. Maybe one is neophobia, first and new things. Yes. Because Maybe. they can continue some project or begin some new uh, work or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, I agree. Maybe ergophobia too. 
why Nelly? Um, because uh, they can't uh, do uh, a job uh, work when uh, normally. Yes, I think that yes. Okay, just to probably add up a little bit to what Nelly said, I think that that one yes. Okay, it is something that can interfere because you won't feel comfortable in any place, right? In any workplace. So you are going to be moving from one job to another, to another one, to another one, to another one. And probably you haven't noticed that you have that type of phobia. Right? Uh -huh. And new phobia as well. The fear of new things. Yeah, you need to be updating yourself. You need to be in constant, uh, probably improvement, right? Updating your skills and all of that. That is correct. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, I'm going to take the attendance before continuing, okay? And let's see. All right, so please say present. Once you hear your name, give me one second. And, okay. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. Claudia. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Daisy. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Jorge. Yeah, Jorge didn't connect today. Jose Bernardo López. Jose. Okay. Juan José Herrera Alvarén. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Janet Granados Orellana. Karen. Mm. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Carla. Kenya Elizabeth Rodríguez Celaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. Marina Jensi Sandoval Bonilla. Marina Jensi. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Maurice. Nelly Livet Andrade Garcia. Present. Thank you. Norma Patricia de Arrué. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present. Tatiana Yvonne Torres. Present, Miss. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present, teacher. Thank you. And Jonathan Roberto García Almendares. So let me see. Jose and Karen. And... Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay, guys, let's continue. Okay. Okay. So, Emerson, can you please tell me um, what are the physical side effects if someone is afraid? What are the physical side effects? For example, I have added to increase heart rate, increase heart rate, or sweating and chills. What else? What can you tell me about physical side effects if someone is afraid? Maybe. Don't live uh, comfortable, comfortable 
Comfortable. Yes, comfortable. Comfortable. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but, but in this case, Emerson physical, something that you can notice, something that is um, in your body. Okay. We can call, we can cause the um, stress. Okay. Stress. That is correct. Maybe other six or damage. Yes, um, you can get headaches, stomach ache. Different things, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. The side effects, guys, los efectos, okay? Efectos secundarios, okay? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, Nelly, do you think that someone can overcome their fears? Yes or no? And if you think so, why? Yes. Um, I think uh, which therapy? Psychology therapy. Oh, okay. With therapy? Yes. I think. Yes, that is correct. I think that fears can be um yes, fears can be overcome with therapy. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. Very good. Um what is your biggest, what is your biggest fear for all the world and how do you react? Um, Carlos, what is your biggest fear for all the world? Is the, Carlos, yeah. The biggest, the biggest fear for the all the world is the the death. Oh, death. Death. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when the people is to near of the death is really interesting because nobody can worry. Nobody wants to die. <laughs> Yes, that is correct. I think that nobody wants to die, right? Of course. Okay. Yes. All right. Guys. Let's see. In your opinion, what animal is the most scary? In your opinion, the, the most scary. Mm. I'm not sure. What animal is the most scary for you guys? El que le da más miedo. In the country, maybe the dog callejero, como se dice? The street dogs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. Um, I I never seen one, but I think that um, a shark. A shark. Yes, I think that um, sharks, and I think that crocodiles, right? Yes, they are really dangerous. Uh -huh. In other country, el dragón de Komodo. I don't know how to say. Okay, dragón de Komodo. I'm not sure. Dragón de Komodo. Maybe scorpions. Yes, as well. Uh -huh. Those are really, really dangerous. Dragón de Komodo. Tarantulas, right? It's snakes. I think that yes. Uh -huh. Okay, guys. Let me see. Dragon de Coma. 
Um, okay, Komodo dragon. Yeah, that is true. Do you fear roller coasters or other theme park rides? Do you fear roller coaster, guys? Do you remember when there was um, uh, those type of things here in, in our country? But not anymore, right? Yeah, no, bien. The roller coasters. Did you go or never? Mm -hmm. Did you get in or no? I remember that, me, yes, I did many times. Have you visited this um, this park, which is which is the name in Guatemala? Mundo Petapa. No. Mundo Petapa is the name of the place. Mundo Petapa has a lot of um, a lot of roller coasters. Mm. For me, teacher, I don't feel roller coaster because I don't like. You don't like them. Uh, <laughs> what I don't like is the Chicago. It know. is. It is dangerous. Yeah. Very dangerous. Yes, I don't like that one. Okay. And the last one. What job? What job would you hate because you are afraid to do it? Mm, I think that in my case, probably, mm, it could be a, 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 a zookeeper. I wouldn't like to be a zookeeper. And you, what job would you hate because you are afraid to do it? A pilot could be right because if you're afraid of heights, sometimes a pilot, you know, guys, now like thinking on that, a pilot should have, um, I don't know, should be right, he should be in perfect conditions. But when we talk about probably mental health. Because you need to be focused, right? You don't, you shouldn't be afraid of anything because we don't know what you can see above, right? Pilots, they do have self-control. So it is a, a profession that is really, really uh, nice, right? That we can admire sometimes, pilots. They have a control on themselves, right? They are not afraid. Yes, I, I think I know. I, I won't be able to do that. But okay. All right, guys. So let's take the first quiz. We are going to take the first listening quiz. Let me go ahead and send the link. Okay, so give me one second. So we are going to take two listenings today. Okay, so two listenings. Um, Okay, Jonathan, I got your message. Um, there you go. And the passcode is listen. Okay, listen. That's the first one. Let me see. Yes. Okay, I'm going to play this one three times. Okay, three times just for you to get the idea. And okay, let me. Mm, okay, ready? Or no yet? Ready. Ready. Okay, here we go. Mm. James. James, wake up! What? Why did you wake me up? It is two in the afternoon. Only two? 
I'm going back to bed. No, you have to get up. You will be late for that class again. Oh, uh, can't you just take notes for me again? No, I did that last time. Yeah. And I am not doing that again. You need to get more sleep and get into a better routine. Routine? Like what? Yeah, you should get up no later than 6.30. 6.30? It gives you plenty of time for a 30-minute workout. <laughs> you got to be joking. No way. And I already exercised. I turn off the alarm clock. And it takes a lot of strength and endurance to get up at that unspeakable hour. You need to get to bed no later than nine. Nine? nine. Yes, you need at least eight hours of sleep. That's what science says. And sleeping in class does not count. Going to bed at three in the morning is a terrible way to live. No. I mean, how many hours do you even get? <laughs> well, wait, I get about five hours. Wait, wait, well, four hours. If you're generous. Or, or, or well, sometimes three, but... I do better on less sleep, and I don't want to sleep my life no, away. This is unbelievable. You need sleep. Caffeine is not an acceptable substitute. <laughs> I have seen you fall asleep while driving. James, James, do not fall asleep while I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just resting my eyes. Oh, oh, sure. Fine, fine. You, you fail that class. You see if I care. Okay, the second time. James, James, wake up! What? Why did you wake me up? It is two in the afternoon. Only two? I'm going back to bed. No, you have to get up. You will be late for that class again. Oh, uh, can't you just take notes for me again? No, I did that last time. Yeah. And I am not doing that again. You need to get more sleep and get into a better routine. Routine? Like what? Yeah, you should get up no later than 6.30. 6.30? It gives you plenty of time for a 30-minute workout. <laughs> you got to be joking. No way. And I already exercised. I turn off the alarm clock. And it takes a lot of strength and endurance to get up at that unspeakable hour. You need to get to bed no later than 9. Nine? nine? Yes, you need at least 8 hours of sleep. That's what science says. And sleeping in class does not count. Going to bed at 3 in the morning is a terrible way to live. No. I mean, how many hours do you even get? <laughs> Well, wait, I get about five hours. Wait, wait, well, four hours. If you're generous. Or, or, or well, sometimes three, but I do better on less sleep, and I don't want to sleep my life no, away. this is unbelievable. You need sleep. Caffeine is not an acceptable substitute. <laughs> I have seen you fall asleep while driving. James, James, do not fall asleep while I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just resting my eyes. Oh, oh, sure. Fine. Fine. You you fail that class. You see if I care. Okay. And the last time. Okay. The last time. James. James. Wake up. What? Why did you wake me up? It is two in the afternoon. Only two? I'm going back to bed. No. You have to get up. You will be late for that class again. Oh, uh, can't you just take notes for me again? No, I did that last time. Yeah. And I am not doing that again. You need to get more sleep and get into a better routine. Routine? Like what? Yeah, you should get up no later than 6.30. 6.30? It gives you plenty of time for a 30-minute workout. <laughs> you got to be joking. No way. And I already exercised. I turn off the alarm clock. And it takes a lot of strength and endurance to get up at that unspeakable hour. You need to get to bed no later than nine. Nine? Nine? Yes, you need at least eight hours of sleep. That's what science says. And sleeping in class does not count. Going to bed at three in the morning is a terrible way to live. No. I mean, how many hours do you even get? <laughs> well, wait, I get about five hours. Wait, wait, well, four hours. If you're generous. Or, or, or well, sometimes three, but... I do better on less sleep, and I don't want to sleep my life no, away. This is unbelievable. You need sleep. Caffeine is not an acceptable substitute. <laughs> I have seen you fall asleep while driving. James, James, do not fall asleep while I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just resting my eyes. Oh, oh sure. Fine, fine. You, you fail that class. You see if I care. Okay. Very good. I can see that some of, well, most of you got 100, okay? Yes. 
Excellent. Okay. So now let's take the second one, okay? The second listen. That one is the link. I just send it. And the passcode is the same. Listen, okay? The same passcode. Listen. Capital letters. Let me open the link, okay? Okay, so here we go. Uh, same thing, I'm going to play it um, three times, okay? So you can get the whole idea. So here we go. Dad, can I go to a movie this week with Shannon? Here, try this. It's called a book. Ah, oh, Dad. Moby Dick, an American classic. Dad. Okay, let me look at the schedule here. Mm. When are you thinking about going to the movie? Uh, we were thinking about seeing the movie on Wednesday after school. Well, that's not going to work. You have piano lessons after school, and then you have to babysit for the neighbors until 9. What about Monday? Monday's out. You haven't practiced your clarinet at all for an entire month. So you have to catch up on that. And don't you have an essay due in your English class on Tuesday? Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. And anyway, I was going to finish that during first period at school. Great. I've never heard of a three-sentence essay. <laughs> so what about Tuesday? Uh, you have soccer practice from 4 until 5.30, and after that, you have to do your homework. Ah, uh, you can help me with that. Yeah, uh... Oh, I forgot you don't know how to do geometry. <laughs> So, can I see the movie on Thursday? Well, remember, the science fair is at school on Friday, right? I is your project finished yet? Hmm. What about Friday night? <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> I checked the paper and there's a midnight showing. Uh-uh, forget that idea. And Saturday? Well, you have to do your chores in the morning before noon. You can help me with that. Oh, no, and then we have to clean out the garage. You said you'd help. No, you volunteered me. Well... That should only take a couple of hours. Dad, you're ruining my social life. And then after that, we can go to the movie. We? Yeah, we. Mom and I and you and Shannon. Uh, Dad, actually, we weren't planning on company. Now, let me check the paper for show times. The movie plays at 3.05, 5, 7.15, and 9. You've already checked, I see. Yeah, so is it okay? Can I go see the 9 o'clock showing? The 5 o'clock showing. How about the 7 o'clock showing? And why are you so concerned about the show time? Well, I don't know if I'll get all my chores and homework done before then. Sorry, but I want you to go to bed earlier that night, and so I can drop you off at the movie theater about 4.30, so you'll have time to get tickets. Uh, Dad, can I have money for the movie? Sure. Just go into the family bank vault behind the secret mirror in the hall and take a few hundred. Dad! Look, I can only spare a few dollars, so you'll have to come up with the rest, okay? Okay. Thanks, Dad. Okay, let's listen again. Dad, can I go to a movie this week with Shannon? Here, try this. It's called a book. Ah, uh, Dad. Moby Dick, an American classic. Dad. Okay, let me look at the schedule here. Mm. When are you thinking about going to the movie? Uh, we were thinking about seeing the movie on Wednesday after school. Well, that's not going to work. You have piano lessons after school, and then you have to babysit for the neighbors until 9. What about Monday? Monday's out. You haven't practiced your clarinet at all for an entire month. So you have to catch up on that. And don't you have an essay due in your English class on Tuesday? Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. And anyway, I was going to finish that during first period at school. Great. I've never heard of a three-sentence essay. <laughs> so what about Tuesday? Uh, you have soccer practice from 4 until 5.30, and after that you have to do your homework. Ah, uh, you can help me with that. Uh, oh, I forgot you don't know how to do geometry. <laughs> So, can I see the movie on Thursday? Well, remember, the science fair is at school on Friday, right? I is your project finished yet? Hmm. What about Friday night? Oh, I... <laughs> I checked the paper and there's a midnight showing. Uh-uh, forget that idea. And Saturday? Well, you have to do your chores in the morning before noon. You can help me with that. Oh, no, and then we have to clean out the garage. You said you'd help. No, you volunteered me. Well, that should only take a couple of hours. Dad, you're ruining my social life. And then after that, we can go to the movie. We? Yeah, we. Mom and I and you and Shannon. Uh, Dad, 
Actually, we weren't planning on company. Now let me check the paper for show times. The movie plays at three o five, five, seven fifteen, and nine. You've already checked, I see. Yeah. So is it okay? Can I go see the nine o'clock showing? The five o'clock showing. How about the seven o'clock showing? And why are you so concerned about the show time? Well, I don't know if I'll get all my chores and homework done before then. Sorry, but I want you to go to bed earlier that night, and so I can drop you off at the movie theater about four thirty, so you'll have time to get tickets. Uh, Dad, can I have money for the movie? Sure. Just go into the family bank vault behind the secret mirror in the hall and take a few hundred. Dad. Look, I can only spare a few dollars, so you'll have to come up with the rest. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Okay, guys. The last time. Dad, can I go to a movie this week with Shannon? Here, try this. It's called a book. Ah,、oh, Dad. Moby Dick, an American classic. Dad. Okay, let me look at the schedule here. Hmm. When are you thinking about going to the movie? Uh, we were thinking about seeing the movie on Wednesday after school. Well, that's not going to work. You have piano lessons after school, and then you have to babysit for the neighbors until nine. What about Monday? Monday's out. You haven't practiced your clarinet at all for an entire month, so you have to catch up on that. And don't you have an essay due in your English class on Tuesday? Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. And anyway, I was gonna finish that during first period at school. Great! I've never heard of a three-sentence essay. <laughs> so, what about Tuesday? Uh, you have soccer practice from four until five thirty, and after that, you have to do your homework. Ah,、uh, you can help me with that.、Uh, oh, I forgot you don't know how to do geometry. <laughs> So, can I see the movie on Thursday? Well, remember the science fair is at school on Friday, right? Is your project finished yet? Hmm. What about Friday night? Oh, I. <laughs> I checked the paper and there's a midnight showing. Uh, uh-uh, forget that idea. And Saturday? Well, you have to do your chores in the morning before noon. You can help me with that. Oh no! And then we have to clean out the garage. You said you'd help. No, you volunteered me. Well, that should only take a couple of hours. Dad, you're ruining my social life. And then after that, we can go to the movie. We? Yeah, we. Mom and I and you and Shannon. Uh, Dad. Actually, we weren't planning on company. Now let me check the paper for show times. The movie plays at three o five, five, seven fifteen, and nine. You've already checked, I see. Yeah. So is it okay? Can I go see the nine o'clock showing? The five o'clock showing. How about the seven o'clock showing? And why are you so concerned about the show time? Well, I don't know if I'll get all my chores and homework done before then. Sorry, but I want you to go to bed earlier that night, and so I can drop you off at the movie theater about four thirty, so you'll have time to get tickets. Uh, Dad, can I have money for the movie? Sure. Just go into the family bank vault behind the secret mirror in the hall and take a few hundred. Dad. Look, I can only spare a few dollars, so you'll have to come up with the rest. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Okay, guys. Okay. So yes, I can say this one was kind of、uh, probably、um, a little bit more complicated than the previous one. Yes. Okay. Okay, guys. All right. So now let's take the grammar quiz. Okay. This one is about grammar. It's about prepositions. Okay, so there you go. And the passcode is grammar. Okay, grammar. So I'll give you around、um, a couple of minutes. Okay, so you can finish it. We are going to have around six minutes. Okay, for you to finish it.
Okay. So I can see that most of you got 100, guys. Most of you. Okay. And some of you got 90, but it's okay. I mean, very good. I think that um, you are doing good on, on those type of topics, all right? So now let's move and let's uh, continue, guys, with the information that we still have to cover today. Okay. So let's talk about business etiquette, guys. Okay. So first of all, uh, business etiquette, okay? Why is it important? And what is business etiquette? Okay. So, well, in this case, okay, um, let's try to choose the best option, okay, from those three that we have. Um, Nelly, can you please help us reading everything? What does business etiquette mean? Choose the correct answer, love. Goals and strategies that can help a business grow and succeed. Supplies and materials that are necessary to have in the workplace, manners and behaviors that are expected within the workplace. Okay, so let's see. Guys, um, what do you think? All right, so we have goals and strategies that can help a business grow and succeed, right? Supplies and materials that are necessary to have in the workplace or manners and behaviors that are expected within the workplace. What does business etiquette mean to you? What do you think? A, B, or C? I think it's a letter C. Yes, thank you. So it is going to be letter C. All right, so business etiquette, guys, are the manners and behaviors that are expected within the workplace, right? So basically, whenever you are in your company, you behave in a different way, right? Why? Because you need to have business etiquette, right? Well, and we should have business etiquette uh, in any place, right? But sometimes... Um, in this case, are the manners and behaviors, okay, that we have within the workplace. Now, let's see. Let's discuss the proper business etiquette, okay, those tips that we should follow for the situations below. What business etiquette do you think that we should follow when introducing yourself and meeting someone for the first time? What do you think? Well, the first business etiquette tip, probably, absolutely, you need to greet, right? You need to greet. That is part of the business etiquette. You also need to, what else? Um, you need to listen carefully to what the other people, right, are saying. What else? If there is an appointment, you should be on time, right? That is part of the business etiquette. What else? You should probably wear proper clothing, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what business etiquette should we follow whenever we are having meetings with colleagues or clients in an office? Same thing. You need to be on time because if you are going to have a meeting, that is part of your business etiquette, right? You need to be on time. You need to have responsibility. You need to be prepared. If you are presenting something, you need to be prepared. Do not wait for the last minute, right? To prepare your report, to prepare your presentation. There are many things that we can take into account when it comes to business etiquette in an office, right? What about for writing emails? Writing emails to others. What business etiquette should we follow? Well, 
one of the most important ones is we should check a spelling, right? You should check a spelling. You shouldn't sometimes, if it is uh, something about work, right? So you shouldn't use emojis, right? On emails. Yeah, sometimes, no. Um, what else? Uh-huh. Do you no, use uh, capital letter? <gasps> yes, do not use capital letters when you are probably typing or writing an email because if not, the other person is going to think that you are gelling. Okay. That is true, that you are gelling. And that happens even if you are not at work, right? If you're with your friends or with your uh, probably relatives, if you use capital letters, they are going to think that you are upset, that you are gelling, and you are going to have a big inconvenience sometimes. Mm -hmm. Don't use a, a, a word with the color red. Right? Yes, do not use a uh, red color, right? Why? Because sometimes that is not, um, I would say, what? That is not um, probably well seen in business etiquette. You should use black or blue, right? Mm -hmm. That is true. Okay, guys, let's continue. Now, what we are going to do is that we are going to choose the correct prefixes, okay, that we think fit each word below. It is important to mention that two are not used. Okay, so number one, my, but first of all, what is a prefix? A prefix is this type of thing, okay? Esos son prefijos en inglés, guys. ¿Ok? Y estoy segura que he visto muchas palabras con prefijos. ¿Ok? Tenemos in, on, this, miss, and none. So, what do you think is the first prefix for the first sentence? What do you think? It says my space understanding of the task instructions resulted in mistakes. Mm -hmm. Yes. No? Okay, so you say it misunderstanding, okay? So, and what is a misunderstanding? A misunderstanding is un malentendido. Yes. So, my misunderstanding of the task instructions resulted in mistakes. Mi malentendido de la actividad, de las instrucciones de la actividad, resultaron en, o resultó en, mm -hmm. errores. Yes, okay, so misunderstanding, malentendido. Cuando alguien entiende mal, es un misunderstanding. Usted cuando dice, lo siento por el malentendido, entonces puede decir, I am sorry for the misunderstanding. No quiero causarte malos entendidos. I don't want you uh, or I don't, I don't want to cause you misunderstandings. Fue un malentendido. It was a misunderstanding. Number two, if your colleagues are rude to you, you may feel? In respect. Unrespected, okay, well, not exactly, Emerson, but it is disrespected. 
irrespetado. Irrespetado. So, respetado, respected. Y respetado, disrespected. Ok. Um, number three. It's hard to work with people who are really a space cooperative. In, on, non. Non, maybe. Non cooperative. Okay. Somebody else? Mm -hmm. Incomparative. Incomparative. Okay. So in this case, guys, it is going to be uncooperative. Um. Yes. Okay, guys. So now let's move. Okay. Let's move. Okay. Let's match the adjective below with its correct definition. So what is the meaning of annoyed? What is annoyed? What is bossy? What is appreciated? What is vital? What is engaged? Mm -hmm. And which is uh, a little, little bit, little bit. Little angry, little. Okay, yes. So annoyed, annoyed means a little angry or irritated. Yeah, a little angry or irritated. For example, when you say, mm, estoy molesto. Estar molesto no es lo mismo que estar enojado, right? Entonces, usted está molesto, you are annoyed. Está molesto, está indispuesto. Okay, está indispuesto, no quiere hablar con nadie. You are annoyed. A little angry or irritated. What is the meaning of bossy? What is bossy? The rest is Okay. Always telling others what to do. Y eso en español es como decir mandón. 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 O mandona. Okay. Que le dice siempre qué tiene que hacer. Right. Que siempre le anda mandando. So. Dice, ah, uh, you are bossy. O se puede decir, teacher, I am boss. Puede ser, right? Uh -huh. Now, appreciate it. Lady A. Valued or respected. Correct. Eres muy apreciado por mí. You are appreciated by me. Okay. You are valued. You are respected. Uh -huh. What is something vital? Very important. Letter E. Letter e. Very important. Now, guys, tell me something that is vital for you. What is vital? Mm -hmm. internet, internet connection to work and study. Okay, so internet connection mm -hmm. is vital. Yes, nowadays, internet connection. Okay, so I think that we have different things that are really vital. For example, internet connection, right? Probably health is vital. Uh, also, incomes, yeah, those are vital. Family, vital. 
friends sometimes, right? People that love you, they are vital for you. Very important. Money is general. Okay. Money, money, money is general in the company. The general man, the general manager. In general. General manager in the company. Yes. Yeah. When it comes to to business guys, yes. Remember, well, I think that all all positions, all positions are vital, right? All right. positions, yeah, yeah, are vital. Um, and the last one, what is engaged? It means a strongly focused on and involved, right? Engaged. This is that enfocado. For example, I am engaged on finishing my report. Estoy enfocado en terminar este report. I am engaged, I'm focused. Okay, I am engaged, I'm focused. Yeah? Okay, so now let's continue, let's move. Um, okay guys, we are almost done, okay? So now let's see. Let's write the antonym, ¿ok? Ahora vamos con el antónimo. Ya no los prefijos, pero sí los antónimos. De igual manera, tenemos que utilizar prefijos, ¿ok? Listen to this one. If someone is rude or not polite, they are... ¿Cuál es lo opuesto a polite? Uh -huh. Rude. Rude. Okay. But in this case, we have right there. Aquí tenemos polite. Entonces, ¿cuál es lo, el, el antónimo de polite? Un polite. Okay. In this, in this case, it will be impolite in so polite es cortés o amable en impolite es pesado o descortés impolite y eso no cambia guys ok así que esto siempre va a ser así o sea se tiene que aprender de memoria esto es bien eh, pesado esa persona That person is impolite. En lugar de decir rude, porque en ocasiones solamente son descortés y no son ah, como demasiado pesados, solo son descortés, right? So they are impolite. If someone lies or never tells the truth, they are dishonest. Yes, this dishonest. Okay, dishonest. Very good. If something is not likely or probable probable to happen, it is likely. Which one? Yes. Unlikely. Unlikely. So likely, oh, likely is probably. Probably. And unlikely, improbable. Como se dice, no, eso, eso no puede pasar, right? Like, es poco probable que pase. That is unlikely. That is unlikely. If something happens randomly, Randomly, or it is, it, it isn't expected. It is unexpected. Unexpected. Very good. Unexpected. Que no se esperaba. Unexpected. Number five. If someone uh, treats others badly, they how do you say maltratar?
maltratar. Tratar es treat. Maltratar. Excelente. Mistreat. Cuando se dice, mmm, ellos maltratan a los demás. They mistreat others. No maltrates a nadie. Do not mistreat others. Do not mistreat. No maltratar a los animales. Do not mistreat animals. Mm -hmm. Mistreat. Yes. Okay. Now let's continue and let me just clear that. All right. Let me ask you, okay, before we go, guys, why are manners important? Why do you think manners? Modales, manners, modales. Why are manners important in general? Why? Why do you think manners are important? Los modales. The model is greeting. Greeting. Greet, yes. Um, a good tone voice. Okay. All right. Good tone of voice. Yes. Um, well, manners are important, guys, because you should behave in a proper way. It doesn't matter where you are. Because on that depends a lot of things, right? You don't know if in the future, right, you are going to have the opportunity to need or probably request something to a person and you should have good manners in any place that you go. Do people have more manners now or in earlier times? I think that probably people had better or more manners in the past in the past. Now, I think that no, right? Yes. Can manners affect your success in life? Absolutely, right? Manners can affect your success in life. How? How can affect manners your success in life? Well, if you mistreat someone, and then at the end, you need something from that person. That person won't help you. Or that company won't help you, right? If you are dishonest, nobody is going to trust you. If you disrespect, nobody is going to be um, like happy to be around you. So yes, I think that manners uh, can affect your success in life, okay? Well, guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Thank you very much for connecting today and I'll see you back tomorrow, okay? I hope you have a good night. Take care, okay? Rest, descanse, okay? Good night, good night guys, good night. Good night.